Yo, I mean, it's so funny. Well, bench didn't work out today. Hey, sub boys. My uh, CNS is super fried out, man. Fighting, fighting that damn cold. He's starting bench right now. Nice. I tried benching today. I still have so much chest congestion that I was up all night coughing, man. I was like coughing so hard, my ab muscles are destroyed. It, I was like cracking all my, cracking all my, all my neck bones and my back bones from all the coughing. But I tried to bench today, and fuck, man, I just seriously hit a massive wall. Like my CNN, yeah. yeah I, I I rested, I rested from. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I rested. <sighs> and I thought I thought I'd be, you know, thought I'd be able to. Oh, sorry about that. My girlfriend is. My girlfriend is doing all the shopping right now. So, I should just they don't have some of the stuff I want. So. But yeah, the grilled cornbread, and this is Portuguese bean soup. Is that a fucking hair? No, it's not. It doesn't look like one. Oh yeah. Um, mm, I tried benching till like, or today, this afternoon, and as soon as I started warming up, it felt funny. And I started on the bench, and just everything was just feeling like I was closing in around me, man. And I cut it after 225. I did my, I did a little bit of 225 warm up. And I was like, fuck, man. And this ain't gonna happen. So I said, ah, I'm just gonna cut it. <coughs> and uh, maybe tomorrow I can hit it. Shit happens. You gotta train around things sometimes. Uh, well, I was doing, I was doing okay on my weight and It seemed like if I wasn't, you know, fighting this sickness this past week, I would have been really, really strong this week. So we'll see. Another little minor setback. We we had a lot of rain here. I mean, just the weather's been real ugly. You work in the rain that much, it's gonna get to you, yeah. So no bench for me today. Down this Portuguese bean soup is really good. Wow. Mm. This this comes special from the other side of the the other side of the island. Um, probably sushi. I love sushi. Because I can't eat steak anymore, so. That's out. Lobster. I love lobster. Lobster tails. Dude, this, this grilled cornbread. 
in combination with this Portuguese bean soup, it's legit. It's so good. Uh, I saw breaking up. I was gonna throw it in the bowl and fucking scoop it. Ah. Mm. Oh man. I'm gonna have to change training around this week a little bit. Tomorrow if tomorrow is still feeling kinda shitty. I might need another rest day. And then I'll just go into all of my um my regular work like back and buys triceps on Tuesday and then I'll I'll probably just bench on Wednesday if I can't get around it to, to, to if I can't get around to it tomorrow I'll just bench on Wednesday sucks when you're like looking forward to it the whole week and you're like I can't wait I can't wait and then it comes around and you can't even do it <laughs> yeah, it happens uh. Uh. oh man Super lightheaded, I'm like stumbling around the gym after I don't know my CNS just shut down on me for some reason. I thought I was over this sickness, but I don't know. I guess it's just still my body's still trying to fight something off. big in the gym today too man I was weighing in at I weighed in at 324 uh, let's see how many meals I eat a day let's see um, I'll have I'll have like a light breakfast not too heavy just something that just to get something in me it's a super light breakfast and then lunchtime i usually eat a decent sized lunch and then i'll eat when i come home from work and normally we work 10 hour days so i'll eat when i come home from work right before i go to the gym and then um when i go to the gym i'll have a, a big starbucks frappuccino from added carbs and calories then I'll have my uh, my iso pure while I'm working out my coke float after the workout and then another meal so four meals a day and then usually nighttime I snack a lot so during the week favorite cheat meal hey Oni <laughs> favorite cheat meal every meal look look Oni I got Look what I got. Portuguese bean soup and um, grilled cornbread from Zippy's. It's never enough. I just pile through this fucking thing. They never give enough. Everyone say what's up to Oni. He's gonna be he's gonna be coming back here March, April, May. May, June. May. No, no, Zippy's Zippy's in Hilo. Um my son my son went to watch one of his classmates um judo tournament yesterday in Hilo and he brought he brought some of this home for me and I was saving it for this specific time. Yeah, I wish they had zippies in Kona. I'd be three thirty. 
I'd easily be over 330 pounds if they had zippies in Kona. Everyone say hi to Oni. That's my boy, man. He's in Arizona right now. Arizona, right? And he's coming back. He's coming back in May. Sponsored by Orange Bang. <laughs> He's gonna be coming back in May, and I was trying. I'm trying to convince him to uh, enter July's um, powerlifting meet with me. Let's go fly up to Oahu and kick some fucking ass, buddy. You guys have seen Oni before in video in some of my videos. If you look back, we'd be um. When I'm flexing and there's another dude in, in the camera with gigantic arms, that's Oni. Oh. oh, man. Figure I do some live streaming while I'm eating. So yeah, f normally four meals a day. On the on the rest days, when I start carb loading for my bench workout, I usually get five to six meals in there. Cause that's when I'll add I'll add extra things in. Like you wake up in the middle of the night to take a piss, and make a big bowl of uh, honey bunches of oat cereal, and mop that, then go back to sleep. Stuff like that. Let's see if I missed anything here. Oh. Uh. Hey, where'd the guy go that, uh, gotta go get ready for the day? All right, Eminus. You have a good day, man. Where'd the other guy go that said he's gonna start benching? Uh, what time is it over there, Oni? Give me forgetting to take all my damn supplements again. a.m. <laughs> Were you going down a YouTube rabbit hole? You was, weren't you? You was, you was, you was looking up YouTube stuff, and then my thing popped up. Yeah. I woke up at I woke up at nine this morning, and um. I was watching like Freaky D's live stream. Oh, watching Dr. Deadlift. Oh, man. Yeah. And watching those guys, they make me fucking not want to deadlift. They don't they don't pump me up to deadlift at all. <laughs> it's like those fucking numbers they're doing is almost like so impossibly unachievable it, it seems. That it it just fucking demoralizes you more than anything. buddy <sighs> triceps never feel half bad too I had that muscle yesterday oh, I was ready to crank some weights but the body just wasn't recovered enough I, I guess dude you ever do these tricep stretches like this 
like get your hand like this grab your fingers pull them and then and then pull them into your neck and then kind of use your freaking use your jaw to like force it more down oh that's a good stretch oh. like that oh. my arms are so big that i can stretch them just like that just doing that for me is good hey you um you know when i was talking when i was telling you about those yeah yeah right right over there man oh fuck it's a damn good stretch but you you was getting what i was telling you about the um about those bench stretches when you you just like when you lay down on the bench just let your arms just let them hang like that just let them hang off the bench and then what you want to do is bring them down like this and then you're gonna start it you're gonna start feeling it stretch all all over here and over here and then when you when you bring your when you bring your hands in and you grab your shorts and just let it relax the weight of your arm is just gonna stretch it's gonna stretch everything out this way and then let go let go of your shorts bring it back up like this bring it back over because you're gonna feel one spot over here where it's gonna be a little rough to to transition over because your hands are gonna be turned like this and then and then eventually you're gonna have to turn your hands over and then come up come up like this and then that's what i was telling you grab 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 one wrist like this and pull it pull your pull your arm across your body and just let it fucking sit here right like this let it sit there for a little bit and then and then bring it down and then sometimes you can come back up bring it down and then go back go back down and do the same thing on the other side you know all as far as as far as it'll let it go because you're just relaxing and then you're just kind of guiding it and then grab grab this arm then pull it across your body like this and then just let that bitch sit like this Dude, just just take your time with those. Sometimes I'll I'll do that stretch for like a half an hour, like all together, like all together about a half an hour. Cause I like to just let my arms sit there for like you know, let it sit there for like a minute, and then and then move it a little bit and get that stretch in there and let that thing just sink in for a minute, then move it a little bit more, and then before you know it, you're able to go up and down back back and forth like this and then when you when you grab your hand because because over here you're gonna feel like the you're gonna feel like your shoulder like it, uh, it's kind of weird to explain you're gonna feel some shoulder stuff happen so you don't want to use this if you're gonna pull this arm across your body like that you don't want to use the strength of that in order to pull it across you want to keep that completely relaxed and and grab it with your other hand and then just guide it and while you're keeping this arm relaxed because when you keep it relaxed you can get it like a, a lot deeper stretch in your shoulder and then you're gonna feel like your arm can kind of come across your body really far and you can start getting all of the stretching back inside of here but that's what i do for that well you get a lot of good stretching then another thing you can do is grab your finger like this and kind of make your forearm this way while it's down there and you can get like a really good bicep stretch in there kind of getting to where that bicep goes real high up in there getting that real long that long deep stretch dude that is that is awesome but i love i love stretching on the bench like that that, that thing is a uh, if you can get there and just fucking let it sit man let it sit for a long time take your time because you're you're already done all your work sets right so even if you want to bang through those um you know those those benches with the bar i was telling you about those three sets of 30. if you want to bang through those just get a little bit of stretching in between you know like 30 seconds just to kind of get yourself opened up a little do another set stretch a little bit more do another set and then afterwards take your time and just stretch everything out take a long time 
She does um she does fingers, elbows. Yeah, it, it she doesn't use tools, she uses all her own her own body. But she she uses her her knuckles a lot. She because her, her fingers can only do so much. Like, she, she, what did she say? She's like, Kalka, you got to get smaller arms. She's like, my hands are too small to freaking... Her hands are too small to, to be able to grab my arm like this. So she can't like, grab my arm with just one hand. So she has to, like, you know, she'll try and work this muscle. And then she'll, she'll try and work this muscle. But what I was telling you about when she's able to get up deep. So she, this muscle right here. She was showing me that that there's a way to get in between the muscles and, and down underneath to get to that lower muscle. But in order to do it, she has to she has to rot she has to do this with my arm back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, and she presses in like super, super hard to where she can the, the muscle will kind of open up and she can get underneath that top muscle into the bottom one. But I I was asking her how I'd be able to do that myself, and she said that it's, it's hard. It's hard because you've got to, like, use one hand to to manipulate the arm, and then one hand to freaking dig in there and try and feel to get in between those muscles. Fuck, man. I, I thought even after having the massage yesterday, I, would, I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll be action today, but... Uh -uh. But those stretches, man, dude, doing those stretches on the bench, fuck. Oh. Those, those things where where are you getting it are you getting it literally right here or are you getting it more down inside here number one or number two this upper more shoulder or more chest Oh, try to do this right now, dude. This is a, this is a stretch that I always do. Like I do this a lot at work too. But chest, oh chest. Okay, try try see if this works. Put your arm behind your back, right? Put it behind your back, and then physically pull your head with your other hand. Now get your arm as far back as you can, as far back behind your back as you can. Let that stretch, and then grab your head and just fucking pull it this way. Dude, that's a great one. That's more of a shoulder one, though. That, I can feel, like, right here on my shoulders. That's where that thing hits real good. See, I was telling you about my mobility, huh? Yeah, your delts. Because it's going to, it's really going to stretch that delt part. Hurt, felt, little chest, no delts. No delts? You didn't feel your delts on that one? I don't even feel my chest on that one. I feel all delts. That was like all shoulders for me. <sighs> all delts, no, no, oh, very little chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, then you're going to have to do those ones on the bench. Try to do this, man. Just from sitting like this, take your arm, turn it over to where it stops, and then lean a little the other way, and then just try to reach back, and then rotate up. And then try to drop it down, and rotate down. Down, I feel a little more shoulders, too. God, just stretch on your own as much as you can. Fuck. Uh. You stretch with push ups and lat bar. Like putting the lap bar on the ground?
Yeah, the the best the best chest stretch is gonna be on the bench, like how I told you. Just doing those ones on the bench, to fuck it for the chest. Nothing beats that, man. I haven't found anything that beats that. Maybe, maybe grabbing in a doorway and just going against it, but grabbing the lat, grabbing the lat bar and leaning into it, like the lat bar, like that, and like this. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see all that. I think I've messed around with that a little bit, but not too much. The next time you're in there, try the try the the stretches on the bench, man. Those things is gonna be actually feel half I feel half muscular even even though I didn't even get anything in the workout today. It kind of sucks. Disregard disengaging lots, yeah. Let's see. Ah. 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 Yeah, see. Chest size is still there. Hey, that's what I was telling you about that. Look at all the the upper chest came in. Kaylee, hey, hey, check on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my girlfriend on my daughter's phone so I don't stop the live stream. Bring your phone. I wanna call Goldie on it. Oh, that's my live stream. Don't worry, you won't be on camera. Can you bring your phone? Pretty please. But look at, look at how much I don't even do, dude. I don't even do inclines at all. Nah, I do. Maybe every other week I'll do one hammer strength incline. Well, look at how much the upper chest is coming in without doing, without doing inclines, per se. <laughs> no, I don't even do incline flies. But when I, do my, when I do my cable crossovers, um, a lot of the times I'll do my cable crossovers high. So... I'll, I'll start them I'll start them low like this like like at a low angle and I'll lean forward and then and then I'll start I'll start the fly and then as I'm coming up I'll lean back and then I'll get kind of high to where like when I'm looking in the mirror my thumb is like by my nose like this when I'm looking into the mirror so I'm leaning back my thumb is up by my nose and I'm getting that I'm getting the the upper chest in there, so it's like it's weird. It's like a I'll show you when you come, but it's like a low. Hold on, huh? is that Goldie's one? That's Goldie. Let's pick him up, then I don't have to run back down the hill. Ah, uh, I gotta call you back. There's no sound. Hold on. Hi, babe. They have tomatoes at Walmart. <coughs> they didn't have um, tomatoes at Walmart, so I had to come to Safeway. Uh, okay. You want to? I just I saw your mom and dad over there, and I just saw your uncle and your um your dad's brother. Who, Uncle Bruce? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she was saying anti Dutsi. Oh, when I saw mom, what, yesterday, she was saying anti Dutsi, not doing. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey uncle, how are you? Yeah. Hey. Ha Hi, auntie. Hey, how are you feeling? Good. You, you feeling better? Yeah, well, I was talking to mom about you when I saw her yesterday. <laughs> uh, all right, good. How are you doing, uncle? How's everything? Yeah, yeah. I ain't looking solid, looking solid still yet. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing better, Auntie. Love you. Love you too. Love you guys, okay. Love you, Bye. I'll see you guys. Bye. Oh, I'm glad she's doing good. Yeah, my, I was talking to her, my mom yesterday. Oh. You want to give the boy a ring? He should be done any minute now, that's why. Yeah, that's what I was 
Tesla is calling me. I was like, I wonder if he called. I'm going to get bananas. He, he never me. called me yet. But usually he'll wait till he's done and then call me. But yeah. I'll get um, bananas. Check. Oh, okay. And I still have enough coconut water, yeah? You didn't oh. even drink the one that I got you. That's what I should be drinking right now, is coconut water. Because my body's all fucked. Hey, you want to grab me one of my coconut water from in the fridge? Please. Right, I'm blocking the thing. No one's going to see you. Go ahead. Go now. Uh, all right, love you. All right, babe, love you. Call the boy for me. What? Can you call the boy for me? And then what? When you come home, we're going to go outside and go smoke. I'm just getting um, bananas and um, tomato. I need that to make your sandwich. All right, babe. Okay, love you. I'm going to give Kaylee back her phone. What? I'm going to give Kaylee back her phone. All right, love you. I'll see you. Love you. Okay, bye. Hey, honey. Thank you. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, so no incline flies, bro. No, she got me more lunchables, the nachos. Yeah, she got me more. In fact, dude, she's gonna come home and make lao lao. I wanna eat some of that too. It's gonna get super fat. She's fucking. T <laughs> I came, you know, the other night I came out of the shower and I had like one, like one cut off shirt on and she looked at me and she was like, oh babe, you got bigger, huh? I was like, where, where, what are you talking about, my stomach, she was like, well, everywhere, <laughs> like, yeah, oh yeah, of what, the, oh, the lao lao, yeah, no more, no more places up there, yeah? Do they have L&Ls up there? Might be able to get one at an L&L. &L. They had, they had L&Ls when, when I was working up only Vegas. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had L&Ls in, um, in that Cupertino area when I was working up there, but it, bro, there's so much places to eat up there that I was like, fuck, how are you going to eat L&L? &L? And then when I came back here, it's like, bro, I'm so anti-L&L &L now. I don't fucking eat L&L &L at all. Yeah, yeah, Cali. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't eat, over here, bro, I don't eat no L&L. &L. I'm fucking so over L&L. &L. The only thing I would eat every once in a while is their, their garlic cheesy fries. That's the only thing. But the mainland kind of ruined me. Because all those good places, bro, fucking so much good places to eat up there. I was eating all kind of places up there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I used to always get there to kind. You used to always get their um, Portuguese eggs and rice in the morning, but these motherfuckers, they they lost me when they they wouldn't make fried rice with it. It was only regular rice. It's like, fuck, I like fried rice. I eat Portuguese sausage and eggs. I like fried rice. <clears throat> Spoiled like that. Zippies has it, motherfuckers. They got TJ Maxx in Hilo now. So they got TJ Maxx and, and Zippies. They don't have Costco though, so it's kind of uh, <laughs> half the time you kind of get the spicy, uh, the good spicy ahi from Costco anyway, because it's always out. Yeah, it's the rain, man. I don't know, the rain would get to me. But I was working there for like a year and a half. Fuck, bro, the rain was horrible. Because they'll have like, there'll be like one, like a squall that comes in off of the ocean. And just fucking torrential downpour, just pound rain, kind of like flooding the streets, like water running on the streets, kind of rain so hard. It'll stay like that for like hour, two hours. 
and then it'll it'll all dry up, go away, and it'll be hot, sunny, and muggy like a motherfucker after that. It's like the worst. <sighs> it's just like the the most horrible conditions to work in. I'd rather it be like rain the whole time, because then at least you can stain your rain gear, and you know, kind of generate that body heat and, and keep warm. So when the thing comes, all super rainy. And then, you know, yeah, that's that's hard. And then it comes hot and you're fucking just dying. Oh, wow. Everybody left. Oh, you guys all left. Okay, good. Now I can flex. Fuck. Now, now no one's here to see it. No one's here. Ha, ha, ha. Missing out. <laughs> I'm a chew. Let's go get my chew real fast. Hey, how are you still here? And it says no one's here. <laughs> I don't know. I only seen him in there like twice. He was he was training like right after work. But that's because he was on the 